is Tate again. The last tutorial I made did not include any voice. The last tutorial was just a simple explanation of how to do it with subtitles. This one I want to go a little bit more in depth and I'm going to actually explain things because it's a lot easier to explain with my voice than it is with some, uh, you know, basic video editing. So, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to duplicate items. It works with any item on the server. Well, I shouldn't say server. It works with any item in the game. For this example, I'm in my single player test server. I'm using a resource that's already pretty abundant, but nonetheless, an annoying thing to get. It's definitely not time efficient to dig up 2,000 pieces of dirt if you need to make something that needs 2,000 pieces of dirt. For example, if you needed to make a, a mountain, it would be really annoying to have to dig up pieces of dirt from around the from around your Minecraft world. And even more, whenever you use your resources, let's say I uh, dig up a hundred pieces of dirt on this island over here. Then I don't have a hundred pieces of dirt on this island anymore. If I come back over here, the dirt is gone. It'll everything will look very uneven and I'll have a big pit of where a lot of dirt was. So to make up for that, I'm going to dig up a small amount of dirt. For example, uh, 10. Now I have 10 pieces of dirt, or 10 blocks of dirt. And I haven't really used up most, most of the resources on this small island over here. This island is very small. I don't have many resources. So I want to duplicate this 10 pieces of dirt to... 10,000 pieces of dirt so I can build myself a, a big dirt tower or a big dirt mountain to climb up or even a big dirt bridge or anything that requires a large amount of items. You can do this with wood, you can do it with sand, you can do it with anything. So the way this is coded, or well, the way anything, any program is coded, everything has a value. Uh, the value of dirt right now, the value of dirt in inventory spot 1 is 10. And with Cheat Engine 6.1 6.0, Cheat Engine 6.0, a free debugging console for debugging, which is normally used for cheating as the name as the name says, uh we can change the values of things. But the trick to changing it is to find is to finding the correct value because there's there's millions of values in this one game that we can change. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and over to Cheat Engine, and we're going to choose the process. Uh, Minecraft runs under, under Java. So for process, I'm going to go ahead to the nice, clean, open process window screen. I'm going to choose javaw.exe. There's going to be a little bit of a, like, little icon next to it that should be looks like a coffee cup and if I'm not mistaken the last time I've tried this there was actually another Java icon yep uh, J-U-S-C-H-E-D dot E-X-E this has a Java icon to it but it's a different icon I'm not entirely sure what this does I haven't ever followed the JRE runtime information I haven't ever studied that I haven't looked into it but I know that's not what you want to find values in JavaW.exe is directly pointing to Minecraft. So, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Uh, now, as you can see here, I have 10 dirt. So, as you guessed, I'm going to search for the value 10. This will search my Java dot, no, Java w dot exe process and it will search for any address with the value 10. Now I have a buttload of addresses, and technically, yeah, I could manually copy all of these, and I could, and I could move them over here, and I could change all of their values to a high number. But chances are, one of these number tens is vile to how our program is running. It's vile to how Minecraft is working. So. If I were to change one of these values of 10 to, say, 1,000, it could really mess up the way the game works. It could make the game lag. It could make the game run out of sync. It could, it could just crash the game. Chances are it would just crash it. 
So what we need to do, we need to filter it. We need to filter these and we need to find our exact value. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a next scan, which instead of searching the entire game, it's going to search the entire game and then filter out any address that isn't already in our address list over here. So to get a scan to scan for, I'm going to drop uh, one. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a next scan for the number nine. And what it's going to do, actually do, it's going to only scan the values we have over here, or the addresses we have over here. It is going to scan the entire game, but then it's going to filter out anything that's not already in this list. That way it's, it gives us the effect of filtering things out. <laughs> in basic terms, it's not going to show everything from the whole game. It's only going to show things that are already in here. It's, it's a filter. It's filtering anything out. So... Technically, yes, I could manually search for the number 9, but not time efficient. So I'm just going to scan. And my list went down a lot. It went down from the thousands to 305. And again, I could move all of these over. The chances of it crashing something are a lot less, but I don't want to take that chance. It could really screw things up. So I'm going to drop something again. Or I could pick it up, but I'm just going to drop it. Now I'm going to do another filter for the number 8. Next scan. And there we have it. That's the last one. That's 8. That is our dirt. That's our dirt value. 2F39E318. So I'm going to double click on that over there. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to get this a little organized. Uh, let's see. I'm going to double click on the description. And I'm going to change the name of it to dirt value. Now, if I were to do a lot of cheats with Cheat Engine, I would know that this is my dirt value. So, right now, my dirt value is 8. If I want to get more dirt, I can double click on the number 8 and change this to a very high number. For example, 999. Now I have 999 dirt. Uh, like I said before, there's tons of reasons to do this. Uh, for example, if I wanted to build a big tower, I just used all of that. Uh, well, that's some basic insight on how it works and how to do it. That works for any item. And in my next tutorial, I'm going to explain how to apply this same concept to health. Because this won't work the same way for health. Uh, yeah.